This is Assertive Discipline by Erica, Josie, Adrian, and Christian. During the day, do you feel like you can't control your class? Does your classroom feel chaotic? Do you feel like you cannot maintain the class? Or do you ever just feel like pulling your hair out? If your answer is yes, we can help. By using assertive discipline. Now, what exactly is assertive discipline? It is a classroom management tool developed by Lee and Marlene Cantor. Assertive discipline involves a high level of teacher control in the classroom. It is also known as the take control approach because the teacher controls his or her classroom in a firm but positive manner. These are the six steps to becoming an assertive teacher. In the next few slides, I'm going to be explaining in great detail what they are and exactly what they mean. Step one, the teacher should be empathetic and patient with all students. As teachers, we need to understand that students have feelings and want to be heard. This will set the guideline of respect. We also need to be patient with all students. Step two, the teacher needs to verbalize and be straightforward. When trying to get a message across, don't beat around the bush, just tell them how it is. It's the best way for them to understand your needs. Step three, the teacher needs to state wants and feelings. Students don't understand that adults have feelings too. Be sure to let them know and tell them exactly what you want and what you expect from them. Step four, the teacher needs to use a firm tone of voice. Don't be soft-spoken. Let them know that you want to be heard. After all, we are discussing assertive discipline. Step five, the teacher needs to maintain eye contact when redirecting the student. Doing this lets the student know you are serious. Imagine a teacher getting after you with her back towards you. You probably wouldn't get the message because you'd be confused as to what's going on. After speaking with the student about their behavior, use nonverbal gestures to redirect them if their behavior persists. Sometimes a simple light touch on their head will redirect them to focus on the task at hand. So now that we know the steps to becoming an assertive disciplinary, let's talk about implementing assertive discipline in your classroom. Students must understand there is no acceptable reason to misbehave. There's really just no reason for it. You should establish class expectations. Create a set of rules for the class to follow. There should be a visual posted somewhere in the room for the students to see. Go over these rules with them and give them good and bad examples to help apply them in the classroom. The expectations in the classroom are not met. Follow through with the established punishments for behavior. So if a student misbehaves, you must refer to the six steps of assertive discipline. If expectations are met, follow through with the established rewards for appropriate behavior, such as jobs, verbal praise, or whatever rewards you have set in the classroom. Have a class discussion as to why the rules are needed in and outside the classroom. For example, why do we walk and not run in the hallway? Or why is it important to keep your hands to yourself? Lastly, hold students and parents accountable. By doing this, everyone knows what's expected in the classroom. You can do this by giving them a contract to sign. By implementing all of these techniques, your chaotic classroom should look a little more like this. Oh, okay. Alright everybody, one, two, three, eyes on me. One, one two, two, eyes on, on you. you. Okay, I'm going to talk about counting our numbers, so I need you to put everything away. We're not touching our pencils. And we're not going to write on our papers, but I need everyone to listen and have their eyes up on the board. Please don't do that. Put everything away. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to start at one, and then everyone follow with me. Two, Two three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. Good job. Ten. All right, so we're gonna work on math. So when we add, you're gonna have your add in. Okay, don't do that. Um, and you're just gonna add one plus one, which equals pretty much two. Guys, don't do that, okay? Just keep your hands to yourself. And so uh, your, our answer is two and two is our sum.
with our L words, so I need you guys to repeat the L words that I point out. Okay, um, we're gonna talk nice to our friends, and I need you to face the front when we're doing this, okay? Thank you. So let's repeat this word that I point out randomly. Ready? Miss Gary, I need well, I need you to stand <laughs> facing the front. Okay, ready and go. Love. Love. I can't read. Okay, let's try it again. I'm gonna point to it, and you're gonna re repeat it with the class. Ready? One, two, three. Loser. We're not going to use these <laughs> negative words in the classroom. Okay, we're going to talk about our sight words. I need you to sit. Will you tell me to the table, please? My, my tummy? You're tell me to the table. You're facing the front. Front. Uh. <laughs> you start off with one. Then there's two. Then there's three. Please don't throw that. Then four. And five, count with me. Six, seven, seven six, fifteen, eight, eighteen. Nine. No, no, look at the numbers that I'm pointing at. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, point with me. 